the first pistol I ever um, bought, gas blowback pistol, was the Tokyo Marie FN57. It is a very ergonomic pistol, very futuristic. Has big magazine capacity, big gas reservoir, shoots very well as it is a Tokyo Marie. And I'm fairly I'm very pleased with this. Um but I didn't get enough with one pistol. A few months later I bought this one, the Tokyo Marie M nineteen eleven Night Warrior. Put some other grips on it. Changed um, the color of the dots on the back. Also, then, uh, I keep forgetting if it's the uh, trigger or I believe it's the trigger. Trigger or the hammer is black normally, and I switched that out with the um, silver one of my brother's 1911 MEU. So he has a completely black gun, and I got a silver trigger and a silver hammer. Also, the grips are um, XT grips in olive trap, which go very nicely with the um, grey frame and those two were my two Tokyo Marui pistols of which I'm very proud still both have rails both are very accurate and very pleased with them both but I thought that wasn't enough so recently a friend of mine contacted me and said he had a TM pistol laying around that he wanted to sell and he called me and he said, well, do you want to take a look and maybe buy it? And I went over and well, I am now the proud owner of a Glock 17, also Tokyo Marui. Um, this is a second-hand pistol. The other two were um, bought new, so there's a few things that are not so Tokyo Marui anymore. Let me sum those up. Okay, so first of all, you might see this is not a original Tokyo Marui because it has a metallic, well, a metal silver slide. It's the uh, PGC slide with all the uh, correct licensing on it. Also, the frame has been swapped out by a garter frame, which also has the complete original and uh, correct licensing on it, which makes this a very realistic pistol. Um, I haven't been able to shoot it yet, but the guy that sold it to me, well, I just, I, I trust him. Uh, if he says that it shoots good, it shoots good. It's a Marui, so it should shoot good. Um, and I bought this on the cheap. I, I really, really, really got a good price on it. Um, I didn't only get the gun, I also got three magazines, which is a great plus. Three extra magazines, they're big magazines, a lot of gas, a lot of BBs. That's still not all. Also, got a, uh, a quick holster in which it just clicks into place. Just press the button to slide it back out. Really great holster, although I found that it has a little crack on the bottom. But that doesn't matter, I'll, uh, I'll fix that tomorrow at work. I've got some great, great glue for this. So no big problem, but um, that's not even all I got. The original slide, well, when he finds it, um, I'm gonna get it, but he just couldn't uh, find it in his in his um, mess of all airsoft spare parts that he has. So slide don't really matter. Um, don't think I'll ever use the original plastic black slide. But the original frame, the Tokyo Marui one, well, as I know he is very good with paint, I said, look, if you paint the uh, original, um, then I'll buy it. And so this is what he painted it. I asked him to do it in tan, and I think it really worked out really, really well. Um, so I'm going to have, let's see if I can, if I can get the slide off with one hand I am getting good so let's just have a quick look at what it should look like with the silver slide on something like that and that's a Glock that you don't see often 
tan with silver slide and, and, and I really I don't know what you guys think but I really like it I really like the coloring scheme of this so um, all I now have to do is get the internals out of the black frame and put it into the tan frame and uh, we're ready to roll some other things that he changed uh, is that it's not the original magazine release button it's the airsoft surgeon extended one it is really big really helpful really handy you're not gonna push it accidentally but on the other hand it is very 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 handy it's just, you can qu really quickly get the magazine out and another thing is that he uh, swapped out the original hammer spring which uh, he told me is one of the major problems with this Tokyo Marui pistol is that the hammer spring breaks easily um, it's yeah it's been swapped out for a better one he told me so I'm, I'm taking his word on that one right so I'll show you when this project is completed um, it should be a nice gun can't wait to get started on it first have to uh, fix the holster though so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get going alright so I got the tan colored uh, frame on and it was actually a lot easier than I thought it took me roughly looking at the clock um, around 45 minutes and I have to say I've never opened up a Glock before and uh, it was fairly easy actually I do have an, a basic understanding of Tokyo Marui pistols but frames, the only frame I've ever op opened up before was 1911 um, and I just tested it it all works I had some leftover gas, not much not enough to do a, a decent chrono but good enough to see if the slides, uh, the slides cycles and the BBs come out of the right end and um, that all worked fine so as of now I've got myself a nice customized Glock and the guy I bought it from this is my hippo got the holster he said that this frame wouldn't fit in the holster I don't know about you guys but that seems like a fit to me well I do have to say I'm gonna take this off real quick <laughs> that on the holster on the bottom side like I said it was torn it was uh, cracked so what I do is I put something in between here that squeeze it open just a tiny bit and got some glue in some black glue in between there I uh, don't think the camera will focus on it but um, nope it won't but by pressing it open a bit and spraying the glue as a, s a sort of spacer in between that it opened it up wide enough for this frame to fit I have to say that it really looks nice it's a really really a Glock like you've never seen before I, I'm, I'm astonished actually by um, the way it looks now with the black furniture on it black trigger uh, yeah, a slide catch and a magazine release button I'm actually pretty pleased by how it looks and works and even the safety works although I find this safety to be very very obnoxious in a way comment rate and subscribe and please return for more interesting videos about airsoft